I saw The Force Awakens, so it's about, mmm, an hour. Well, it went at like 3.15 and ended at like 5 something. Maybe like 5.30, I don't remember what time it was. But it was around 2 hours. And first off, do I think it should be within the original trilogy? How do you take it? A Star Wars movie that hasn't been made, like, well, a Star Wars movie has been made for all, almost half a decade, or a decade and a half, actually, and we were expecting something big, very big, coming from the people at Disney, who know how to do somewhat big movies, I mean, look like Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one was a smash hit, and the other ones were kind of like, you know, fall suit, and in the sort of not as good, but enjoyable type of category. And I think this is where this movie lies. Now, the only thing I'm, I'm going to tell you is maybe the two main characters, Rey and Finn. Do I think they should stick as the main characters? Rey, yes. Finn, eh, no. The one rant I have right now is that there is... Okay, I'm gonna spoil one thing. When you see Finn run away from the First Order, that's in the trailer by the way, so that's not technically a spoiler. He finds a lightsaber, and he wields it, and from what I've seen, he can wield it just as good as any other Jedi, and he's a stormtrooper who can't hit the broadside of a barn. What? Someone who has no experience in swords, nor lightsabers, only experience in shooting blasters, can swing a lightsaber pretty good, and can actually put up a decent fight against someone. What? That makes no sense. Wasn't it something uh, back in the original trilogy where it was said that if someone were to, um, you'd have to have years of training and to even master it or being good at the lightsaber. I think that was mentioned once or something like that. i pretty sure it was somewhere in the original trilogy. And this guy picks it up and wields it and gets in a few fights and he's decent at it. Some of the things I really don't like about it. And there's some critics saying that it's terrible and some say it fits right in with the original trilogy. I'm with the fits in within the original trilogy. Now, if you're a Star Wars veteran, you know that uh, Return of the Jedi was not as good as Empire Strikes Back or A New Hope, so it would be a little bit better than Empire Strikes Back and it's kind of like even though Return of the Jedi wasn't as good as the other ones, it's it was a staple in the franchise, and I don't think this would surpass that. You know what I'm saying? How you know the film? There's a film in the franchise you don't think is good as the other one, but there's a new movie coming out revolves around the franchise that is a little bit better than the previous one, but doesn't really surpass the whole franchise as a whole. So it's somewhere in the middle. If I were to rate it out of 5, it would be a 3.5 out of 5. Like, well, Jeremy John says it's like awesome tactical, or I'm not sure what he said because I didn't watch his review, but for the most part, he thinks it's just as good. It fits right in with um, A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back for his favorite Star Wars movies. And I would say it's not exactly like that. I would say it's more like it's a good time, no alcohol required. I know I'm taking his rating system for granted, but. It's so best I can describe it. You don't have to be drunk to watch it. That's it. That, that's right, guys. You don't have to be drunk to watch a Star Wars movie made by Disney. Okay? I think they can handle it. I mean, they did decent with this one, so yeah, they can do good with the other ones if they're gonna make other ones. They probably will. Make they probably make another one and another one just to make a new trilogy. That's what I think is gonna happen. I mean, the first three were amazing. The second three was mediocre. It can be downright terrible compared uh, depending on who you ask. This new one might be in the middle of that. That's all I'm saying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and made a force be with you I guess.